Is your Harley Davidson ugly? Yeah. Are you tired of your air filter restricting you? Yeah. Are air filters confusing? Huh? Do zero women acknowledge your amazing motorcycle? If any of those things sound like you, then you need an SNS air filter. Increased filter area combined with a radius inlet and unique SNS stinger allow smoother, faster airflow for more power. Kits include backplate, filter element, top cover, hardware, and instructions. The secret is SNS's patented increased airflow technology. These amazing air filters are easy to install, have washable filter elements, tons of cover options available, and most importantly, are made in the USA. But don't believe everything we have to say. Here's a few real customers' opinions about the SNS air filter. Now that I have the SNS air filter, get all the ladies at bike night. Yo, bro, you see this air filter behind me? It's from SNS and it's like sick. It's like an easy install. Well, like if you don't break apart first, like me, but you know, if you fix that and then install this, it's sick. Check it out. I asked God for a motorcycle. He gave. And then I put SNS parts on it. Despite what anyone says, I'm proud of a life behind bars. Mm-hmm. Get an SNS filter too. Hell yeah, brother. Wow, that's amazing. Hurry, join now for this limited one-time special offer. You can get a cover. Just pay separate shipping, handling, and processing. Call now. This offer isn't in stores. But wait, there's more. The next 100 callers get a Biker Bay bed sticker. Make sure you act fast before these filters sell out on all websites. Call now. Be sure to mention this advertisement. Please be advised this video intro is completely satire and not an actual advertisement for SNS filters. Hey, what is up guys? It's Biker Babe Beth. I'm here in my garage. I appreciate you guys sticking it through my uh, SNS infomercial. I have an SNS air filter here that I'm gonna throw on because I have heard all kinds of lovely comments about this air filter for so long. So it's time to get it out of here. It's time to be replaced and upgraded. So the upgrade that I decided to go with is an SNS air filter. So you guys have seen, check it out. I left a link for you guys to click. This is not a paid advertisement, but SNS was kind enough to throw me this beautiful air filter kit. Let me pick out the cover that goes along with it, and I chose the Air One. Beautiful air cover, beautiful, good old fashioned round air filter. Decided not to go with the old school teardrop because I have that on my iron head. Wanted to do something a little new. I think it looks pretty schnazzy. Old air filter off and put new on. The instructions didn't look too hard, but Thankfully, SNS gave me an online instructions which you can just scan. Have that pulled up on my phone and we'll throw this on. This performance air cleaner is the Stealth. And if you're looking for something to upgrade on your Sporty, usually the air cleaner is one of the first few things, air cleaner pipes. And uh, once I get new pipes, I'm definitely gonna have to get this thing all schnazzed up with either a uh, programmable card or programmable app to update the air fuel mixture. I know it's gonna not run the best until I do that, but let's go ahead and smack it on and see, see how this baby sounds. I'm really excited to throw on this SNS filter. Definitely a nice Thanksgiving gift. 
by the way. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. I hope you had a lovely, a lovely time with your families. Now it's time for me to throw on this air filter. First and foremost, I'm supposed to unplug the uh, negative side of the battery. So let's go around and do that very first. Actually be a good role model for once and uh, do things by the book. Follow the manual that SNS has online and we'll unplug the battery first, unlike my other videos. This is not gonna be a how-to video. You've got instructions online. We're just gonna we're just gonna get busy, son. Let's get into it. I'm gonna rip this one off, throw the new one on, and show you guys the difference here in a little bit. We'll see if it sounds any different or if it if it runs after if I do it wrong. It's just an air filter. You can't mess up an air filter. You shouldn't be able to mess up an air filter. You can't mess up an air filter. It's really easy. Air filters are simple. It's really easy. And then three hours later, she was still working on it. Let's see. Let's see how it goes. I'm by myself. Let's go. <laughs> the um, SNS instructions here online. Before I get started, everything looks good. I'm just gonna kind of try and clean up some of these surfaces before I put a new air filter. All right, let's go. Threaded on so I can put on the hair filter. stuff comes out astronomically fast. You just have to do one little bloop. Stay home. Stand by. Be prepared. Flow, flow, which is perfect. All of them got some blue thread lock. Let's put her on, baby. 
Why did no one tell me it was right there the whole time? I've been looking around for that damn thing forever. Ah, my life is falling apart. That's okay, cause I'm cute. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> oh no. This ain't big enough for this job. Okay guys, this video is not ending how I'd hoped. I had myself a good little cry about it and I contacted SNS. It is the holidays, so I'm hoping to hear back from them soon, but I managed to crack my air intake while trying to bridge the gap between the SNS plate cover. It just would not get flush. And so I kept going and kept going and started to actually crank it down and heard a very large crack. And that crack was my air intake and it's cracked all the way through. So this is gonna need replaced before I can put on the Stealth Air Cleaner. I don't know if it's that the Stealth Air Cleaner doesn't fit the, the Sporty. I double checked and the marketing department sent me this one for my Sportster. So you'd assume everything was supposed to fit right and be flush and not have a problem, but we did, we had a major problem. And so that's the end of this video. Sorry guys, I couldn't show you what it sounded like on the bike. I'm a little upset, just a little. And I'm allowed to be. I fucked up my motorcycle. And I left my motorcycle. It's not on camera when I was cranking down and actually broke it. I'm sorry I'm crying, deal with it. Ugh. I'm upset, I'm sad. And obviously, I don't know if you can see from the, how much this one was making contact compared to the other ones. So I'm just, uh, I'm bumming, I'm bumming hard. Things don't always go as planned. And unfortunately that makes me just wanna scrap this video and throw it out, not include it, not show it, and pretend that this didn't happen and this sucks. I have to buy a new part, we'll get it fixed. But once again guys, thanks for hanging out with me. I appreciate all of you guys. Comment down below how much of a sad girl I am for crying about a cracked little bit to my motorcycle. That means I can't ride. That means I have to get this fixed. This means I can't finish this video. So there'll be a part two of finishing this video. It should have just been a one and done. Infomercial and install is what my plan was, but infomercial and cracked stuff is what we got. So thanks so much guys. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll check you guys next video. Psych! <laughs> This is not the end of the video, actually. I have a new, well, new to me, it's used, but I cleaned it up with some card cleaner. It's good as new. It's working, tested it out already, but I've thrown on a new throttle intake. Yes, yes, yes. She's all better now, all good. No cracks, no JB welding. I appreciate all the love telling me to JB weld it. JB welding would have been fine, but um, I want it to be reliable. I go on long distance road trips and I don't want some JB Weld to fail on me. So this is what we're going with. The throttle body induction is now on. She's looking beautiful. <sighs> Didn't record any of that fun, but huge shout out to uh, my future husband, Jeffrey, for making sure I, we put that on right. Without him, I would break more things, but with him, I won't. So. Yes, guys, now it's time to finally actually throw on this beautiful Stealth S&S air filter. Let's get into it. I'm not gonna break anything this time. Knock on wood. All right, we got our good old Loctite. Our good old S&S cover here. Let's just start getting things done, son. Guess it takes uh, destroying things to know what you're doing. You gotta destroy stuff to learn what you do. <laughs> Say it ain't so, Beth. Yep. For me, it was so. Everything is there, except for the blue thread locker. Now it's coming out, I think. Uh, what, do we, what do we see? Do we see some? Oh, much better. Fingies. 
start everybody. Make sure everything is lined up. Okay, this is going so much better this time. <laughs> But I also have my instructions pulled up on my cell phone and I can show you where I went wrong and where I messed up so you guys don't do the same. Because I saw tons of other people making the same mistake online. I should have looked online a little bit more before I started that project. So this is where I need to grab my feeler gauge and make sure there isn't too much spacing. Otherwise I need to grab one of those other spacers that I threw on the ground last time I was working on it. And it said the same width. So find a feeler, so find a feeler spacer that is the same width as one of those watches. So that's a little too wide. Playing the same width as the washer. I think I found it. 0.06 mil. He's all snug first, and then we'll figure that out. So. Because we don't want to do the same thing and crack this throttle induction body again. Let's see. It seems perfect to me. The width of this goes right up, butts up to the little washer that we have in there, so I need to torque hold this down carefully. And then we're installing the cover, we're installing the air filter. We are making cakes, baby. But to be certain, the old fiance and give another another eye another pair of eyes on this to make sure those gaps are perfect Be right back. all right okay finishing snugging it up everything looks good i had my professional mechanic at home double check yeah. his name is jeffrey i love him a bunch and he helps out when he needs to when i break stuff he has to help me fix it but he believes in me darn it and that's how partners should be so it's going back and forth and tightening down the center pieces evenly. I think we're good. Involves these lovely pots and pieces. Ooh wee. But I gotta look at the instructions. I don't wanna mess this up again. It's very simple. But I can mess up simple, simple things. Okay y'all, once again, more blue thread lock pipe. Am I actually finishing putting on the filter? Hey. Please say I'm on to the last step of throwing on the cover. Please say that's what I meant. Hey, that's where we're at. Let's go. Let's go. Fancy. New. Ooh. She's a beaut, Clark. Would you just look at it? Ooh, baby. Good old friend coming back out to play. body later we did it it looks great let me open my garage door so i don't die and then we can uh, see how it sounds let's do that reattach my battery and then throw on the the ignition and, and see how she how she sounds hopefully it doesn't sound terrible hopefully it doesn't sound like it has an air leak hopefully hopefully everything is fine Everything is fine. But yes, huge shout out to S and S. Thank you guys for that beautiful new air filter. I'm super stoked for it to be on. And see what we're working with now. <laughs> it's not gonna sound much different, but hopefully it feels a little different. I'll probably have to add a Vance and Heinz fuel pack here soon or something of the likes. We have power. We have injection.
question. Do we have spark? Do we have bark? Do we have bike start? that I'm gonna be running lots of gas through this system, burning it up, wasting fuel, until I get this bike on a dyno where somebody can adjust that air to fuel mixture for me, or I need to get a programmable app fuel pack combo, like the Vance and Hines that I'm familiar with, or there's other ones, but it looks nice on the bike, I'll admit. I think that it looks great. Yay, I have an SNS upgrade. Thank you so much, SNS. Woo! I'm gonna get so many more ladies talking to me now. Probably more fellas, to be honest, but that's okay. I love it. Can't wait for more things from SNS to hopefully be thrown onto this bike and thrown on, as in, put, it, put on properly in a step-by-step -step fashion as to not mess up any more parts on my beautiful Harley. I am super stoked that this video actually came together and I didn't mess up another thing and have to record another video crying about how sad I am that I broke some simple part. Wasting nine minutes of your lives, I know. If you are interested in this specific air filter, this is the Stealth with the Air One cover on it. If you're a local person here in the Columbus area and you have a dyno that you could help me out with, comment down below. We'll have to make that happen. Otherwise, a fuel pack is in my future because I don't want to be running this bike like this for too long. I think that does it for us on this video. Thank you so much for sticking it out with me on this adventure. I know things got a little hairy. I got a little little upset. Things happen though. You break parts, you replace them, and then you go forward. See forth that you finished the job, and I'm proud of myself for not giving up on this one and saying, well, it's winter time, I'll fix it in the spring, because winter here in Ohio is, she's a temperamental lady. Changes all the time. One year, it'll snow on Christmas, the next I'll be able to ride my motorcycle on Christmas. Once again, guys, thanks so much for hanging out with me. I'm Biker Babe Beth. You're watching my videos because obviously you're at the end, they're enjoyable. So make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you comment down below how you've persevered a certain project that you just didn't want to finish, but finishing it felt so great. Let me know down in the comments, guys. I love hearing your stories about your bike debacles just like me, so. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you on the next video. Peace out. Hell yeah, brother. I wish you guys could see the filter. Wait, you will. <laughs> Proud to live a life behind bars. <laughs>